Okay, so here we're looking at Fedoratron's freezer wall photo etch. And what I need now is my X-Acto blade. You could use the scissors. There are also specialized nippers for doing photo etch. I don't have, well, I've got scissors, but I don't have the specialized uh, nippers. I'm pretty sure the company Zuron makes those. I've seen them in person. They're like $30. For essentially a pair of uh, snips, which is kind of a lot. So what I've done here, huh? Oh, I see. I thought the glass was warped, but it's probably the magnets underneath this uh, black backdrop that are doing that. So the first thing is to cut everything loose. Kind of do that with a rocking motion here. This is why you can't do this with a straight edge exacto. You've got to use a round blade. There's one. I may as well cut them all out right now. The reason why you use some glass is that it is a very unforgiving surface as far as pushing it goes. I imagine stone would work well too. You happen to have a slice of polished flat stone. Just want to make sure I really got all these ends as well as I might have. And last one. I'm going to leave these circles in here for the moment. But I will cut them free of the larger fret. Usually I don't throw this away simply because you never know when you might need a nice little piece of brass. And this is an interesting shape right here. So uh, maybe I'll use this down the road someday on another model. So next up these need a primer ring. I'm not quite ready to build this part of the freezer tube. I do want to do the walls right now only. So here's the kit piece. It's okay as is. It does have some pour stubs on it. Right there and there. That will show through with the lighting. Rather than trying to reduplicate these exact lengths and widths, what I think I might do is simply glue this on top. The effect is definitely nice against the light bulb there. And this compared to, say, this piece here, this is just a glue bomb. So, rather than simply putting this on there, let's see how it looks actually first. There's very little difference between the way this looks and the way this looks. It's a little dirtier, but not by much certainly not as much as this would indicate because this just looks like a nightmare piece the other good thing about gluing this to the support that exists is that whereas this is just basically paper thin this piece here is rather sturdy yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna do and you know what while I'm at it I'm gonna cut these little guys out of here just so I don't have to do it later So I let Elliot Brown at Fedoratron know that he should probably do the brass mesh for this and include it in this kit. So what he's doing is rather than, so it sounds like what he's doing is rather than give you simply six of these, he's actually going to do some extras in case one gets screwed up. And he'll that way he'll have the space to do, I don't know if I'll have that in time to do this construction, but we'll see. And to get back to something I was saying before, this is the brass tube that comes with this kit so what you would essentially do is cut any old length that really wouldn't matter it looks like this here is about 3 16 long which means the step on it is going to be one and a half sixteenths that's a crazy little measurement that's about two and that's one so the step is one sixteenth and the plug itself is two sixteenths this brass tube is exactly the length that you need it to be I don't know that I could cut a 1 16th little stepper like that. I do have brass tube around that this would slide into. So in fact, yes, I do. Here's the tube that comes with the kit. Here's what you would need to get that stepper going. So you know what? I'm gonna go and try and cut some 1 16th marks on this and see how it does. Gosh, that's small. Essentially, the length cut here doesn't matter because it's going through the back side of the wall. And one thing I hadn't checked is how well this would fit through. It's a little tight. And it looks like it might be like a micron thicker. Uh, that's certainly a tight fit as well. 
So now I'm just going to skip this and glue these straight on. Let's do it. This little tube here is a, a Zappa Gap accessory. They say it works only with their glue bottles, but clearly it works with this. The original super glue, super glue. Will this come off? Let's hope. Good. I didn't uh, paint these yet, and these definitely need to be painted silver first. So what I'm finding is a very difficult thing to do is to actually pick these up without bending them. There we go, ready for some paint. I'll be back.